Well, guys, uh, welcome back. It's I got uh, it's Friday. I got some cool stuff in the mail. Me and Gingy are just hanging out in the garage. I got a box from uh, Prometh. I was a little bit too excited. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't do an unboxing, but uh, I already kind of looked at everything. Starting off with, let's go to the back here. Here's the tank I bought. Yeah, it's all super nice shit. Uh, it's got one of these locking canisters in it. It's sumped. It uses all braided dash six line. Six line. The pump is underneath here. It's like built into the box. That way I didn't have to remote mount the pump. It's pretty sweet. This is like two, two and a quarter, two and a half gallon. So. There's the, the tank. Then, uh, here's the blue injection uh, system. There's the little nozzles it comes with. The guy hooked me up with three different nozzles. Here's the solenoids, just like a basic style nitrous solenoid. Here's what the jets look like. He hooked me up with a a 10, a 20, and a 30. So I'm gonna start out with the 10 and the 20. That right there is already 1,900 cc's worth of water meth. So that's quite a freaking bit. Definitely gonna have to pull some fuel out of the fuel mat. So let me just show you what I've kind of got going on here. As you can tell, I've uh, we did this. We moved the turbo up front. Shout out to Jake for hooking me up with this tight radius elbow. I kind of got a, a, a downpipe kind of started. Ooh. Okay, so this goes into the small <clears throat> the small side of the turbo snail, and I want it to set like this, where you see the little solenoid, just like it's square with the grill i don't want it like like that or something weird so i'm trying to hook it up to where it looks good like that i was not none of this stuff was sponsored i paid full price for all this i wish i would they would have hooked me up a little bit but we'll see maybe something down the road so yeah i'm going to mark with a paint pen where this looks decently straight and then we'll uh, pull the compressor housing off we'll drill it i went to o'reilly's got a set of new drill bits and taps because i didn't want to Definitely don't want to fuck this up doing this. So, yeah, I'll mark this and pull it off and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so far so good. I got the first one done. Um, I'll kind of go over the process of how I do it. Is first off, I'm using a punch. This is a spring loaded punch. Any guys who are machinists are probably familiar with this. That way, your drill bit doesn't wander all over the place when you try to. To drill so this shoot on my little stool here you just press down see and it leaves tiny little dings so once I do that once I center punch it I take a small drill bit get my angle right and then I step up to my big drill bit and then I tap it with a hand tap. Uh, one thing I noticed you're gonna wanna watch out for on this particular setup is the nozzles, they just thread in here and then they thread into this nozzle holder, they call it. But you gotta twist, you gotta thread this nozzle, nozzle holder on and then it has a little AN uh, threaded side here. So when that's spinning around, it could hit the side of your turbo and then you're going you're to be screwed because you're not going to be able to tighten it down. And uh, that didn't happen to me. I honestly didn't even think of that until now, but uh, I looked out and it, it cleared. So, yeah. So I'll get this one marked uh, where it needs to go. And we'll drill it and we'll be ready to go. Oh, one other thing. On all this stuff, never use... I don't use 
threaded tape, thread tape, white thread tape on anything anymore. It, I did when I was a kid, and it that's how you get leaks. You don't want leaks on anything, use this. Permatex thread sealant. I use it on literally everything, and uh, I never get leaks ever, so. Okay, fellas, this is what I was talking about when I said be careful where you put this. I, I just tried to drill it in the dead center of the volute, pretty much, for just best spray pattern. You see how this thing's like this shaped? You go to screw this on. How it, how it's just, how it hits. I would never be able to tighten that down. Well, me, it's just hitting on this big thick cover. But if you were over just a little bit more, it would hit on the actual metal housing of the turbo. And you'd never be able to tighten it. So that's just something to watch out for. Um, this kit comes with zero instructions. Uh, when you're this high a level of a thing, I guess they just assume that you know what you're doing. So yeah, just something to watch out for if you ever install one of these. Okay guys, here's the finished product as far as the nozzles themselves. Uh, tapping and drilling and all that, I still gotta get it wired. But uh, overall, the hard part's pretty done. It turned out pretty good in my opinion. I'm really interested to see how this uh, cools. I think it'll do really well. I also got my billet flange. So anyways, yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you later.